from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I'm Father Ernie DiCiccio. The televising of this Mass is made possible by a contribution from the late Joyce McIntyre from Fergus, Ontario. This Mass is offered in memory of Joyce and her deceased family members. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, as we uh, continue our journey of Advent, let's give thanks to God for having sent us His Son to dwell among us, for having dispelled the darkness and brought us into light. Let's call to mind our human weakness and ask the Lord for mercy and for peace. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to our help with mighty strength, that what our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. On that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. He sets up victory like walls and bulwarks open the gates so that the righteous nation that keeps faith may enter in. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace, in peace because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God you have an everlasting rock. For he has brought low the inhabitants of the height. The lofty city he lays low. He lays it low to the ground, casts it to the dust. The foot tramples it. The feet of the poor, the steps of the needy. The word of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in mortals. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteousness shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Call on him while he is near. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he taught them, saying, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall. The Gospel of the Lord. These words of uh, Jesus in today's gospel are part of the Sermon on the Mount. You can actually uh, summarize them in just a few words. What Jesus is telling us, plain and simply, is that actions speak louder than words. Or even, even, even in fewer words, talk is cheap. Actions speak louder than words. Words are important, mind you. Words are powerful things. Whoever said, uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, that person was a liar because words can hurt and deeply. But actions are still more powerful. And it's by our actions, by our way of life as Christians, that we show that we're true disciples of the Lord Jesus. What does it matter what we say if our actions don't reflect it? Husbands and wives or parents and children can spend all day telling each other, I love you. But it doesn't mean anything if they don't show it. And even as people of faith, 
We can be praying all day long, doing our rosaries and novenas, but if that's not translated into concrete works of mercy and charity, then those words are empty. I'm always reminded of this episode of uh, the old Johnny Carson show, and he was interviewing uh, some couple who had been married like 70 years. And Johnny asks the old man, did you tell your wife uh, every day how much you loved her? And he said, nope. I told her only on our wedding day. And I said, if I ever change my mind, I'll let you know. But of course, he showed her the love that he had for her by his faithfulness over 70 years, by his hard work and sacrifice, by his patience and understanding. I can speak to that myself. My parents, who were kind of old school, were not very affectionate. I don't recall them ever telling me once in so many words, son, I love you. It wasn't part of their vocabulary. But I felt that love because I saw how much they gave up for me and for my sisters. I saw how hard they worked to put food on the table and a roof over our head. Love for them was not a word. It was a way of life. And love, of course, is the greatest expression of our faith. St. James, in his epistle, says it clearly, faith without works is dead. So yes, actions speak louder than words. We're in the season of Advent now. This is a time to prepare our hearts and our souls for the coming of Christ at Christmas when we celebrate his birth and on the last day, whenever that will be. And we want Christ to find us ready. We will be ready if our faith has been lived out. Yes, we should pray. Yes, we should go to Mass. Yes, we should read the Bible. But more than all of that, we need to remember to do some concrete good with our lives, with our hands. There are so many poor who need assistance, so many sick and suffering who need comfort, so many sorrowful who need consolation. May we use this season of Advent to prepare ourselves by doing some good and not just in word, but in deed. And now let's offer our prayers to the Lord our God, who always hears us and answers us. For all of those in the Daily TV Mass community that have asked to have a family member or a family situation included in our prayer intentions book, we ask Mary, the mother of Christ, to intercede with her son for us. And may we also find strength and comfort in Mary's example as a loving and caring parent, we pray to the Lord. Lord our as we prepare for the birth of the Prince of Peace, we pray for peace on earth, for peace in all lands, for peace also in the church, and for peace in our families. We pray to the Lord. Lord our for all those who are sick or suffering in any way, for those in hospitals and nursing homes, for victims of natural disasters, for the countless poor, and for all victims of injustice, we pray to the Lord. And we remember also our loved ones who have died. May they rest in the peace of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Gracious and loving God, we ask you to hear all our prayers, those we have spoken, and the many more that we hold in the silence of our hearts. And answer us always with your mercy and with your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through our Lord Jesus Christ. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us. 
us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer by Henry Francis Light. 
abide with me. Fast falls the eventide. The darkness deepens. Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, O oh, abide with me. Swift to its close ebbs out life's little day. Earth's joys grow dim, its glories pass away. Change and decay in all around I see. O thou who changes not, abide with me. Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks and earth's vain shadows flee. In life, in death, O Lord, abide with me. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Thank you for joining in our celebration of the Eucharist today. As you know, we pray uh, for all of your intentions. There are so many people who join us via television who are sick or shut in, even people in prison. We gather all of you into our prayers. And especially during the season of Advent, we pray that the Lord Jesus will touch your hearts in a special way, will bring healing to your minds and spirits. We pray certainly that the Lord Jesus will fill all your families and loved ones with a spirit of true joy. There's too much sadness in our world and in our lives. But this Advent season reminds us that Christ came to dispel all that darkness and negativity. So may we open our hearts to welcome Jesus into our world, into our own hearts. Again, thank you for joining us and pray for us as we pray for you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this Mass. If you're interested in making monthly donations using the pre-authorized checking method, please call our office at 1-888-383-6277 for details. The of your God which shines on you today. Arise, your light is come.